Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a minus 2ab plus b, this is equal to minus 127. So what are the values of a and b? And given that a is less than b. Now, let's provide a solution from here. So we have a minus 2ab plus b, this is equal to minus 127. So the first step to do here, let's multiply both signs by 2. So that now we have 2 times a, this is 2a, minus 2 times minus 2ab, this is 4ab, then plus 2 times b, this is 2b, this is equal to minus 127 times 2, this is minus 254. The next step is to multiply here on both sides by minus 1. And also here, let's multiply by minus 1. So that now, minus 1 times 2a, this is minus 2a. Then minus 1 times minus 4ab, this is plus 4ab. Then here we have minus 1 times plus 2b, this is minus 2b. This is equal to minus 254 times minus 1, this is 254, this is positive 254. Now, we have here, we have, this is the same thing as 4ab minus 2a subtract 2b, this is equal to 254. Now, we have that from this particular part here, 2a is common here, we can factor out 2a into the parentheses. This is 2b minus 1. Then here we have minus 2b. This is equal to 254. Now, we have 2b minus 1 here. So to make this side the same as 2b minus 1 here, so we have to add 1 on both sides so that now here we have 2a into the parentheses this is 2b minus 1 subtract we find that 1 is common here so we factor out 1 into the parentheses this is 2b minus 1 this is equal to 254 plus 1 this is 255 now we have that 2b minus 1 is common here so we factor out 2b minus 1. Then we have 2a subtract 1. This is equal to 255. Now, now we have 2b minus 1 and 2a minus 1 here. This is equal to 255. In this case, let's get the prime factors of 255 given that a is less than b. So the frame factors of 255 in this case, we have 1 times 255. Then we have, this is 3 multiplied by 85. This is supposed to give us a value of 255. Then we have, this is 5 multiplied by 51. This is supposed to give us a value of 255. And we have that. 15 multiplied by 17. This is supposed to give us a value of 255. Now, this means that we have four cases here. We have case 1, case 2, case 3, and case 4. We have that A is less than B. So we have that 1 is less than 255, 3 is less than 85, 5 is less than 51, 15 is less than 17. So this is case 1. This is case 2. This is case 3, and this is case 4. Now, we let x, in this case, be equal to 2a minus 1, and we let y to be equal to 2b minus 1. Now, this implies that, now, in this case here, we have that x is equal to 2a minus 1, so that means that let's take minus 1 on the left hand side. We have x plus 1. This is equal to 2a. 
let's divide both sides by 2 so that now a is equal to x plus 1 over 2 and we have that y we have y is equal to 2b minus 1 so let's take minus 1 on the left hand side so that we have y plus 1 this is equal to 2b so let's divide both sides by 2 and this means that b is equal to y plus 1 over 2. Now, from the first set of x and y that we have here, x and y here, we have 1 and 255. So this means that we can solve for the values of a and b. a is equal to x plus 1 over 2. So this is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2. And this is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So we have that A is equal to 1. Now, we can solve for B here. B is Y plus 1 over 2. So we have B is equal to 255 plus 1 over 2. So this implies that B is equal to 256 divided by 2. And if we simplify here, we have b equal to 128. And this implies that a, comma b, this is equal to 1, comma 128. So this is the first solution here. Let's proceed to case 2. Now in case 2 here, we have that a is equal to x plus 1 over 2. And we have b is equal to y plus 1 over 2. Now we have that x comma y. This is equal to 3 comma 85. So let's substitute 3 and 85. So that we have a is equal to 3 plus 1 over 2. And this is equal to 4 over 2. 4 divided by 2, this is equal to 2. So we have that A is equal to 2. And we can solve for B here. B is equal to Y, which is 85 plus 1 over 2. So B is equal to 85 plus 1. This is 86 over 2. And this means that we have B is equal to 43. So we have that the second set of solution here. A comma B for case 2. This is equal to 2 comma 43. Now let's proceed to case 3 here. In case 3, we have that A is equal to X plus 1 over 2. And we have that B is equal to Y plus 1 over 2. Now we have that X comma Y. This is equal to 5 and 51. Let's substitute X and Y here. So we have that A is equal to 5 plus 1 over 2. And this is equal to 6 over 2. 6 divided by 2, this is equal to 3. The value of A here is equal to 3. Now we can solve for B. B is equal to 51 plus 1 divided by 2. So we have here 52 divided by 2. 52 divided by 2, this is equal to 26. And this implies that the third set of solution here, a comma b, this is equal to three comma twenty six. Now, let's proceed to case four from here. Now, in case four here, we have that a is equal to x plus one divided by two, and we have that b is equal to y plus one over two. So, x comma y. This is equal to, we have 15, comma, 17. So let's substitute this. So that now we have A is equal to 15 plus 1 divided by 2. And this is equal to 15 plus 1. This is 16 over 2. 16 divided by 2. This is equal to 8. And we have that B is equal to 17 plus 1 divided by 2. 17 plus 1, this is equal to 18 over 2. 18 divided by 2, this is equal to 9. 
So we have that a, comma b. In case four, this is equal to eight, comma nine. So in this case, we have four solutions here. We have four solution cases here. We have that a, comma b. This is equal to. We have the first set of solution is one, comma one twenty eight. We have 2, 43 for case 2. And then we have 3, 26 for case 3. And then we have A and B for case 4, which is 8, 9. And these are the set of solutions for this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.